Hey, good afternoon YouTube. I finally started working on my second Orca boat. And I just wanted to show you what I started with. Just these two pieces of copper and I'm going to hammer some hulls out here. A left and a right half. And just using a ball peen hammer. Okay. Good evening YouTube. TK Tin Man. I started my Orca boat replica from the movie Jaws. I cut out two square pieces of copper. I scribed boards on them while they were flat and smooth. I hammered from the inside with a ball peen hammer on a low pile carpet on a concrete floor of my shop. And now I'm about to turn up the edge a sixteenth of an inch flat on the front bow so I can make them two together. Instead of just going raw edge to raw edge, I'm going to put a little teeny little right there on the tip, right there. Just put a little turned edge with my hammer. So I'm just going to do that. I got a piece of steel. It's a heavy piece of steel. Just happens to get it up at a good height for me to work on it. But I'm just tapping it down. See right now there's no edge down here. And I'm just eyeballing it. So I'll just create that flange. So both front left and right halves will mate together with a good surface for the solder. That's not too bad. Let's see here. There we go. It's just about a sixteenth of an inch. And I'll do that to the uh, the left side, for lack of a nautical term, and um, solder them together. But I just wanted to give you a little up update before I got too far along. But we'll so we'll uh, I'm going to use uh, rivets to hold this two halves together while I solder it. But I'll show you that video after. See you in about a second. That. Good afternoon YouTube. It's TK Tin Man. I'm working on the Orca. The second boat. I made that first one. You've seen my other video. I'm working on this next one. I had a piece of antiqued copper. Went through a process that uh, made it look aged. So I threw that in for the floor because I felt it lacked it in the other one. So, that's where we're at. We got some boards scribed in there. It's all hammered out. The front soldered up. Been working on the back piece. The back piece is gonna include the radius of the, the rear and the top deck for this small area here. But, just thought I'd bring you up to date. This is my uh, desk where I make it happen. And of course my coffee and my tablet. See you soon. You can see here the solder joint. I'm going to bend up the back piece and rear deck area. I'm going to try and do this one handed. I'm going to lift this lever to open the jaws. Now 
Okay, well, at any rate, I need to remove some of these pieces in the brake machine to allow me to bend this up without destroying these edges that I created to solder this into place. So this is a bending brake, and you'd call this a finger brake because of all the fingers which you can remove, or a box and pan brake, hence the ability to make a box in a pan and bend it up and have this void for your edges of your boxes. But I'm going to bend that up because I need both hands and we'll meet back at the boat. Okay, I removed one of the fingers from the brake. Very sharp edged heavy steel nugget with this piece here, which tightens it on the back of the machine. But at any rate, uh, I've set this up on my line. I'm going to bend that up 90 degrees. You can see. But I'm also going to bend on a quarter inch line here because I'm creating uh, support for the back deck edge. So I'm going to be able to put this in the other way without crushing my flanges at the edges. And I'm going to fold that up 90 degrees. And you can see so that just makes it a nice support across there you can see the boards ascribed into the deck Let's see oh maybe you can't they're in there anyways okay now I can fold this right at the crease where it meets the rear. Sorry, my nose is running. It is um, like super cold out for the past uh, couple of weeks. Now this is one of those spy eye things. And We'll go with that. We'll go up 90 degrees with that. Actually, the back of the Orca boat is actually slanted back, so that would be just a little bit less than 90. So I'm going to pull it back further than I want to, and then burn it up again just to crease it. Okay, so this 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 is the top deck, and this is the back with, on the orca, which is angled. And you can see the shape of the boat, where the name will be. Okay, glad you could do this with me. You can see this edge here. That was done with a turning, an edging machine, hand cranked, and fed through. I'll show that in another video. Okay, me again. Let's see how this fits. I didn't do any trimming or anything here, so let's just see what we got. See, I think I can probably make that work. Don't you think? Clamp that in there and solder it a little bit. That'll give us the rear deck area as well.
Not bad. It's like a, an old plastic model. Only it's copper. I'll solder that together and I'll try and share that with you.